What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So this is my version of Tryhard's Sun Bandits. There were things I really liked about this that deck, and then there was like Undying Pharaoh. Uh, so I decided to really put my own spin on it. So this is a deck that again is dedicated to stealing sun from plants. Turquoise Skull will do that every single turn for one, and Ra Zombie does that when played for two. Uh, and I really made this into a very interesting late game leap deck. And the idea is, is that if you can keep on stealing their son, so let's say you Cryo Brain on turn two, which is a really good play into the Turquoise Skull on turn three. Then on turn four, they don't have, they only have three brains. Uh, turn five, you're going to actually be able to play Ra Zombie since you're making an extra brain every turn from your Cryo Brain. Uh, you can then leap this into a 7 cost card and an 8 cost card. I just went all in with the leap. So running 4 evolutionary leaps and 4 transformation stations. Sort of making leap the win condition. Usually when we're leaping we're starting off with small cards or conjured cards. Uh, this time we're putting huge cards on the board. And um, we are uh, we're going to just leap those until we win. A cool card that I added as well. Since I feel like, you know, Undying Pharaoh, it really didn't help that deck win its defensive end. This sort of is a Sun Bandits card because it makes their plant tricks cost two more. So if you're stealing a Sun anyway and, you, and you're playing defensive end on the board, their tricks are going to be completely useless. Uh, running a lot of control, so I'm running Weed Spray, Rolling Stone for the early game, and Rocket Science. So Weed Spray takes care of the small things, Rocket Science, and you have Chop in here. Also uh, takes care of the big cards. Got some healing. Rockwall has limited use. You're usually going to play Rockwall on your Turquoise Skull Zombie. This is something you definitely want to keep the health on. And so it keeps on stealing that sun. You're gaining value every single turn. Gentleman Zombie is a really interesting card in this deck. It is giving you brain advantage every turn. So it sort of fits the theme. Uh, but you can play this and then leap it immediately on turn three. Also, if you can keep this alive, maybe with your Rockwall or just by using any of your removal cards. Uh, this will be giving you extra two brains, so instead of just playing Raw Zombie on turn six, you'll theoretically be able to Raw Zombie Leap. Uh, I'm experimenting last second with a few teleports uh, just to be able to have plays in case, you know, you're going for a big leap play. You got your defensive end, and then they come in with a Cobb Cannon, or they come in, you know, just with Squash, some big removal sham rocket, that you'll actually be able to do something that turn. So, uh, but very often you're going to be playing one of your six drops in the next turn, double leaping it to an eight, which will turn to an Octo Zombie Plank Walker, triple leaping it, of course, will turn it into a, um... It'll turn it into a Zomba. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the game. Uh, I see that there was a little bit of lag. I am, of course, uh, visiting my parents in the United States. So I am in a different setup here. Don't worry, I was not kidnapped. I'm gonna just turn off some stuff here. And we'll get underway. I gotta just, uh, since I'm on my laptop, gotta stay mobile, of course. When traveling. Um, it looks like the computer is just not as strong as my PC and it's getting a little overloaded. It's okay. So I'm going to mulligan out these six drops here. Uh, I'm really look for cryo brain is we really like to start with that green shadow. Weed spray is probably going to be short term more useful. Uh, I'll even get rid of that now. All right. Pretty good. Uh, and let's do bets. So what are the bets going to be for this? Okay, I, I, just a warning. This is a really fun deck. Like, I really wanted to show you guys this. Uh, it has a lot of weaknesses. I feel like everyone is just running just big removal <laughs> so much. And decks that run plenty of, of removal are going to be able to just destroy, you know, your light game. Your raw zombie, you're trying to leap it, and they just destroy it. It's really annoying. I'm going to actually use this just so they two damage. It's not stealing block meter and giving him too much of an advantage here. There's a rolling stone for the black IP next turn. Um... All right, should we do a five out of eight? I'd be very happy with four out of eight uh, because there's a lot of bad... This deck has a lot of bad matchups, but let's make it five out of eight. You know what? Let's get ambitious here. So if you think we're going to win five out of eight games, vote yes. Four out of eight is going to be an over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash from... Uh, wow, Chrome is taking up my GPU. Okay, I'm going to kill all my Chrome browsers. And this will probably solve the problem. This got like my task manager all set up. Oh, this is really good. We actually got the combo. So turn two, Cryo Brain. Turn three, we're already going to have 
gentleman zombie setup. We have limited ground lanes because it's green shadow. I'm actually going to set this up on heights. You're typically not going to leap this. Once this starts growing, you know, in attack, it typically is better than the five drop, and you just want to save your leaps, like, for your raw zombie. That's really annoying. It's... Bro. Like, bro. Like, for real. You know what? At least these will even trade. Plus, we're stealing a, a, a sun this turn. Um, we could go gentleman plus something. This will probably just be better. I'll just set up a second turquoise and let these trade. And if he sets up a team up here, I'll just rolling stone it. That's very cool. Uh, we will definitely rolling stone this. The cat too. It's just different between this having 5 and 4 health next turn. He could uh, still, you know, super at some point, but it's okay. Uh, Ra Zombie should be extremely good here. We'll play that in lane 4, and we'll try to double leap it next turn. So opponent went down to 4 sun, and I was down to 2. Do you see what this is now? It's turn 5. The opponent has 2 sun. I mean, this is exactly what this deck wants to do. Like, what are they? They have a 3-5 and a 3-4 on the board. Okay, so he had a super. It's all right. It's not so bad. Yes. It's okay. That's all he was able to do. You know what? That was going to happen regardless. He has no answer to the 3-4. I could go for another troll play. I'm going to go for the double leap here, though. Uh, so I'll set up Gentleman Zombie. Why not? We'll have leap, leap, and rolling stone. Even if he flicks us, we still have leap, leap. Do you think Warlord would be good in this deck? It doesn't seem like there's enough minions in the deck just by Warlord, but it could use a 5-drop. It could be Warlord instead of Gentleman Zombie would, would be good. Wow, he gets on Onion Rings combo. Uh, so we're definitely going to leap you. Want to be Hero, that's going to go face, and then it will turn into an 8-drop. Hopefully he doesn't have a way of removing that next turn. No point in Rolling Stunning the 0-2. We'll save that. In case he plays, you know, in a couple of turns after he's done playing his 4 fours. Of high F Sentin. So here's turn 8. He's got 7 sun. I think I'm just gonna raw zombie here. Uh, raw. Raw Rasputin. Should I just trade them? I think I'll just trade these ones. Yeah, but Octo turns into Zombot next turn if he can't answer it. He could have, you know, Jumping Bean or something. Uh, yeah, that doesn't get it done at all. Well, cryobranks, why not? A little bit of a waste, but that's a lot of damage. To so here's eight. Uh, these all die. It's Zombot time, guys. It's that time of day. It's that time of day. Yes. Goodbye. Uh, so we'll do two damage. We'll to proc the block. We'll play Raw Zombie just to make sure he doesn't. I don't know. We need a leap. We play need Dragon. A leap. It just makes this First play a little harder for him. Three Thank damage here, but that means he has to chump block time. with something that doesn't get rolling stones. We sure we're pretty we're, we're I think we're okay here. He's got beans, he's going face, so if he only puts something with two attack, we can Why is he putting this here instead of in lanes one or two though? This is a perfect chump blocker. <laughs> okay. Ow. Is that all? Uh, okay, well, now we have to roll, we, we need him to roll a 1, or we need to roll a 3 in order to win here. We're definitely rolling stunning this, just to give us a shot. Yeah, we usually lose. Usually. Can we just roll a 1, please? Pretty, pretty, please? Pretty, 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 pretty? Pretty, pretty, please? Can we roll a 3? Can we roll 3 for the win? Could you not get freeze or blow here? Actually, the trickster will win anyway. Don't get blow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, freeze is fine. Freeze doesn't change anything, because it's always trickster next turn. Can we roll three, please? Please! <laughs> I felt like we were dominating that game. I don't know. I just took too much damage. God damn it. How did we not... Wait, wait, wait. How did we not block that game? How did we not block even one time? Can someone explain how we did not block ever, ever, ever in that game? And, and we went from 20 to 0. 
I wasn't looking at the block meter, but we, we must have rolled a bunch of ones. He never did more than four damage. Honestly, a, a block there wins us the game. That's all it comes down to. So annoying. <laughs> Come on, man. It's so annoying. Here's some rolling stones against this foe. We'll get rid of the six. Usually keep a, keep the four. And two rolling stones. Perfect early game against. Let Senior Nut. How many ones did we roll there? Wait, wait, wait. I, I gotta look back at this game. Oh, I can't look back at it. Nah, that's okay. It's so annoying. Uh, we got Cryo Brain, so that's nice. We have the combo again. Oh, the star fruit did 12. All right. I forgot about that. Okay, well, I guess we die to onion ring star fruit. When we don't have one of our three rockets. So, do 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 do. So he's got three suns. See if he has a hammer. Hammer time? Hammer, hammer, hammer time. Why? Ah, oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> who runs hammer? Nobody. That's who. I would like to play these on the ground in case we get transformation station. Like, lawnmower would be active next turn. I think I'm gonna maybe raw on the ground and put this on heights. If he's trying to control us, you know, obviously if he's running Cop Cannon and Briar Rose, it'll demolish this deck. But if he's trying to actually control with tricks, this defensive end really, really messes him up. Oh, uh, here comes the heals. Could you please not have a second heal this turn? Oh, thank you. Oh, I forgot I have Chuck. Should I just leap already? I should have raw leaped, so I didn't do the gentleman thing. I totally screwed that up. This will usually, this very often turns into a frenzy or like a garg throwing garg. It's so good. <laughs> so we get free gargs. Whee! Here comes the Zombots. Frank Guitar, love to see it. Five cost here. I should have gone raw, raw leap there, obviously. Uh, we got two rocket sciences, and I think I'm gonna... Should I use them? We also have, like, rolling stone to activate this, which is ridiculous. Should I raw zombie here? Uh, let's play around Cobb Cannon and actually raw zombie. We can raw and rolling stone. Which is so freaking good. Now he's got four sun. It's perfect, actually. Walnut. Is it okay? We're gonna get two gargs because we have Rolling Stone. Let's see what he does with three sun. He's healing? Who cares? We also have Chop. I think I'll like do that next turn. It's gotta be Rolling Stone to get an extra garg here, right? We'll, we'll Chop Rocket next turn. We'll be okay. This is just so much value here. Wee! Extra splash! Thanks, Galactic Cactus. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and then we'll get a deep sea garg as well. So we're gonna have three huge gargs on the board, and all the removal we need to deal with these pepper MDs. Yes, easy. Uh, we could win. If he gets bubble, we win. We can also roll one. So if he gets super, obviously it saves him. Um, and heal would save him. No, he got bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Demolish! Garg throwing Garg? That's what I'm talking about. You know, the seven cost cards, it's good to kind of know them for this deck, because you're always leaping sixes into sevens. Eights are easy. It's either Plank Walker or Octo Zombie. You almost always want Plank Walker. Um, for seven cost cards, though, there, I think there's like four. There's Mechasaur is the best one, by far. Gar then Garg throwing Garg is really good. You have Wannabe Hero, Nurse, and Knight. <laughs> Maybe Nurse Wannabe Hero Knight, if you were going in order of how big they are. I think that's all the seven costers. 
Oh, there's also Rodeo Garg. So there's six of them. I almost wish there were fewer, so these leaps would be better. Uh, see, so we got three, four. Rocket is actually a good card against all the Elderberries and all the crap that Solar Flare runs. We don't really have good early game against Solar Flare, so I think I'm just going to hold on to the Rocket. And luckily, we got our Super, just in case. Don't really see a lot of Haunted Pumpkins. I seem like I face a lot of Solar Flares, and I'm always like, oh no, Haunted Pumpkin on one. It just never happens. It's, it's such a good card against Rust Bolt. Pass. All right, so let's go Gentleman. I might just start leaping the Gentleman zombie here. Because the Solar Flare is going to have a ton of removal. Just a crap ton. What is this? So do I do I do I super this now? The the transformation station obviously doesn't do anything. This will make our, our guy live. This'll probably work. If he only plays one card next turn, it dies to Rolling Stone. Problem is if he plays exactly two cards. Uh oh, we can Rolling Stone it now, never mind. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, ho, ho. This is fine. So we played Reincarnation on, th on three. It was the Reincarnation Muscle Sprout, obviously. Uh, we have the leaps for the Raw Zombie, so I'm, I'm really gonna just... I'm really just gonna... Lawn more than three drop. <laughs> That's already gotten a lot of value. So good. So we're stealing Sun now. Awesome. One more turn until the big Raw Zombie combos. Turn five, he'll be making four this turn. Um... We'll see if he has the hammer. We could end up rocketing something here. The question is, should I greedily play the transformation station? It really might get covered. I feel like if he had, like, any environment, he would have played it here. Every once in a while, you'll see Lava Guava, but uh, we've already tested for Planet of the Grapes. And if he had Planet of the... Sorry, not Planet of the Grapes. Uh, Pear Paradise. If he had Pear Paradise, he would almost for sure play it here. So do I greedily do this? I think I do. In fact, he can't even play... Uh, he can't play Lava Guava next turn. He's not going to have enough sum. Look, he's going to go down to 5. And now he's going to go down to 3. <laughs> so this is a really big threat. With 3, it's very, very difficult to deal. He needs a hammer again. Like the last guy. He needs a hammer. If not, I mean, we should be able to get our 7 drop just rolling right now. Worst case scenario, he has an answer. Yes! Yes! Sun Bandits, man! Leap Bandits, I'm calling this one. AF and don't want to wait for next stream. Also, Finn Salwin is the Tin Puff Shroom, 30 Petal Morphosis Snipe. Wait, what? 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 I'll read that again. It was Pogme who said the Checky Deckies are out of stock. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll put this in my browser and uh, we'll save it for the end of this one. Hope this doesn't eat up all of my CPU though. Uh, Google Chrome is definitely behaving now, so that's good. Whoa! What is? Why does this look so weird? Um, Rolling Stone Cryo Brain we're definitely keeping. I don't think we keep this. Maybe we should go for double Cryo Brain against Rose. It's actually possible. Alright, this is fine. We have our early game control and we have our Cryo Brain. I know, it's like turn six and the guy has just like... <laughs> he has three sun. He's like, okay, we're just gonna get seven drop next turn. How do you guys like this version? I hope Tryhard actually... Um, stops by. Obviously, he's the inspiration for this deck. Uh, I really like Cryobrain on two and then Turquoise on three. Uh, that's okay. Hopefully, we'll get something to answer that. We have, again, Weed Sprays. Two Weed Sprays and three Rolling Stones left in this deck. Hopefully, we can get something here. I don't know. The Teleports are probably useless, right? I'll probably just use one to cycle through and see if we can get a Rolling Stone or a Weed Spray. I think I'm just going to burn it here. Uh, we really actually have to prioritize this now. <sighs> I think I'm gonna burn this anyway, though, since we have no minions. There's Raw Zombie. Definitely have to rocket you. 
I'd like another big removal card now. There's the Rolling Stone. Let's see what he's got for the sixth slot. We luckily top decked a Rolling Stone here. No freaking way. Okay, so it's gonna be your. It's gonna be your. I don't go for this because Rose is just gonna go to fight the raw zombie. Uh, we're in tremendous, huge, astronomic trouble. I'm gonna play this on grounds and rock wallet, I guess. We'll see what superpower the opponent has. Hopefully, it's just Mog or I don't know, Weed Whack. At interdimensional. I don't know, is starting more in the early game better in this day? Maybe it is. I guess I'll rock ball that anyway. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> We're getting snacked! I don't have enough removal cards. Why are we never blocking ever, ever, ever? Is the real question. That's the real question. I want to weed spray the grass. I can't. We're gonna lose to just four or plus four here, right? It's basically guaranteed. There's nothing that could actually save us. We have nothing to leap. Yeah, Brain Animal will put it away. Maybe I should make a snake grass deck. All right. Hell bricks. Um, I don't know the teleports. I think the teleports are actually not. I I haven't really ever tried teleports in this deck and. They're gonna brick more than anything else. I mean, they always draw a card at least, but... Like, maybe there's just some, like, earlier game tempo we can... We can run instead. I don't think Brain Vendor is that good. I I'm kind of, like, at a loss for, like, the, the last cards, how to fill in. Gentleman Zombie I'm not even so sure about. You guys think Warlord would be good? It gets value and then you can leap it. Maybe, like, Knight? King, I mean. You guys want to see King? Because he can turn into knights and then leap them. But now that we don't have teleport, King becomes a lot worse. Da, da, da. Yeah, this deck just doesn't do well against Rose, because anytime you get a big card on the board, it just zap. <laughs> Gets go to fight. Dun, dun, dun. Parasol. I can try Parasol. I don't think the king is going to be good. Let's try a few games with Parasol. This deck is definitely still a work in progress. And I feel like there's ways to make it much better. But, uh... Just gotta keep grinding for now. And going viral. I just don't think going viral is that good in this deck. Because you're not... You don't have, like, a bunch of guys to... I don't know. I feel like the leaps are instead of the going virals. Maybe going viral would be good. No more rows! I don't want to face her. I really don't. So we go 4-5 maybe? 4-5-6. Hopefully this rose doesn't do too much the first few times. Well, we got our Rust Bolt Super and a Rolling Stone, so... Should be able to answer just about whatever rose does the first few turns. We'll try it with Parasol here. I think the Parasol, as long as this Rose isn't running Cobb Can, I think the Parasol is going to be great. I don't know what Interdimensional does for this deck. I, I was thinking about running a few Interdimensionals, but like, usually when you play on turn one, it doesn't survive. So good, you get a random three drop. Like, who cares? Like, what? how does that help you control to the late game and leap a big card? Like, every once in a while, they have no removal. You know, so then you just leap, 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 leap. But I feel like this deck beats that anyway, you know? Uh, really cool that we topped that cryo brain. Really awesome. So we're going to play Turquoise on Heights. And we are going to very quickly um, play the Parasol next turn. So uh, really all the Rose powers. Parasols are really, really good against Rose. I guess Rose is the worst matchup for this deck, so... So, Paracel Zombie really answers the best matchup, but, I mean, Cop Cannon still absolutely demolishes us. 
<laughs> it doesn't answer. I really think that Parasol and Untrickable should work for abilities too, not just for tricks. I feel like it would Untrickable would actually be a thing then, and it could really open up Gargs and a lot of like big cards that usually die to removal to it. Uh, we're never going to be able to Rolling Stone, it's just going to heal again next turn, so. It's probably better. So eating again, and we'll bring it down to two. Like, you can't even catch a mechanic here, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> the Rose is too sun here. <laughs> so sad. Oh, it's turn five. So either Lil Buddy or Bust, or this just goes down the drain because you can't even heal. And a Rose can't use her superpowers either. Honestly, Parasol, in terms of being a troll bandit, you know what I mean? Like, you can't actually do anything. I mean, Parasol definitely fits the theme of the deck. Parasol next to a Gentleman Zombie could be good too because you're basically ramping two every single turn for free. And that's it. It was just okay. Kept us alive with a two man. Too bad. We'll have, like, Super Rolling Stone here. We also have Leap. I'm gonna tr really try to leap this one. Oh my gosh, we have double leap now. Uh, we should be able to get an 8 drop, like, really easily here. And it's gonna be protected by Parasol. Parasol with leaps is fine. No, no! No! It's again, but Brainana just kills us! I mean, I probably should have spammed Parasol just... Just in case Brainana, right? I guess so. Just so we could do something this turn, man. It's so annoying. I don't know. <laughs> so we can totally like keep I mean we can play both of these on the elderberry to keep it alive How bad does he need this Elderberry in order to win? The 3-6 answers it kind of next turn. The other thing I can do is just, like, super here. I can also try to leap this turn. I'm going to go with my gut, which is to remove this card from the board. Don't let him proc the block here. You can let these trade. There's Raw. I think we have eight here. We have nine. Jeez. So that'll deny dragon. And we still have either rocket or leap. Should be okay. Brinana is, you know, Brinana's playable, but that's all he can do here. Just trades with Ra's zombie. Opponent definitely has Brinana in hand. We're gonna have to play around that every turn now. Wow, doesn't even worry about it. He's so worried about the Parasol, which makes sense. That he didn't even worry about the, uh, the Raw Zombie. We're gonna try to play around second brain down here, I think. So it's gonna be Parasol number two already. And let's see if the opponent has, you know, Dragon, which just suck. Maybe I shouldn't have done that to play around Dragon. But then we're playing so hard into Brain Nana. We have Rocket and Leap here. So, we're gonna leap. We're always leaping this. Garg throwing guard, please? Thank you, yes. And I think we just rock it. I mean, we can play the environment as well. I think the guard throwing guard is, is fine here, though. Opponent has three cards. Do we block? 
Uh, yeah. Maybe I should have held that to make him play around chop, but anyway. <laughs> it's not going to have a lot of options on what to do anyway. Yes! So we're going face for seven, and these are still both protected by the parasol. Getting deep sea garg in the water there is actually pretty good. Um, two and three wins? This two more likely messes something up here, rather than helping. We'll probably play station in three. We'll see what happens. He can't really damage the guard throwing guard, and he certainly can't go to fight it. That's okay, looking for a card. <laughs> Spamming that actually helped him. Watch him get an answer now. Elderberry. And that's it. It's guaranteed lethal. <laughs> yes, we actually beat Rose. Just Parasol carried the game. I mean, the opponent is holding two superpowers. That's the last two cards, obviously. It's the starting superpower and then the second. I don't think the opponent used the superpower. And then the one from the block. But that was it. You just can't win anymore. I don't know why he set that up in lane four. I think lane three would have been better. It would have given us a guard, but yeah, you 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 you, you sometimes block if you roll a two and a three there. But anyway, yes. Okay, maybe Parasol is perfect for this deck. Parasol you can count as a five because you typically want to play it right after the turquoise skull to keep it alive. It's really, again, synergizes very well with defensive ends and with uh, your leaps and with your Gentleman Zombie. It keeps all those cards alive. Especially Gentleman Zombie. <sighs> Alright. Maybe maybe Parasol is the truth. This is in okay hands, I think. Rolling Stone's definitely good. We'll have something to do on turn three. PlayStation in three. Exactly, guys. PlayStation in three. Uh, should I save this for a Triceratops next turn? The opponent's probably playing around rolling. So this is tough, and as a person who plays way too much Guardian, I'll very often debate Hardy Heroes on turn two. Turn three, there's two threats. There's Triceratops uh, Photosynthesizer, and there's also... There, there's also, like, uh, Captain Cucumber for Grass Knuckles. So, I, I think there's going to be a better card to hit on turn 3. I, I know it's a little we weird, because we have the perfect answer, and this is really going to be doing a lot of damage here. But, uh, the opponent should feel safe seeing this. I mean, they might play around, like, Landscaper, if, they, if they're going for Captain Cucumber. But, th this is so much better. I mean, we, we cannot... This is going to carry the game for him here. So, really happy to have done that. And the Parasol, look how good it is here. It's so amazing. I should have actually spaced this better for the Parasol. Maybe put this in four, but I, I think lane one is going to be viable. Look, the Parasol just now, and we automatically have two extra brains to leap something. How great is this? If the opponent tries to make a good trade in lane four, we leap it, and then all of a sudden, we're making a good trade. Imagine he puts like a... Like, I don't know. We'll have a chop for that eventually. Imagine he plays a Juggernaut. Exactly. So we can't play the station, but I will do this for a tempo. Look at the Parasol. God damn it. Okay. We're going to leap station that for sure. There's not much of a choice anymore. We're taking a lot of heat here. So we can go three. Get two back. We'll have four, which means we can go two and two. I think it's pretty good. I think we're just going to chop this later. I mean, maybe I should, like, double leap this one. So should I not, gentlemen? Maybe there's a choppable thing in this turn? Alright, I'm going to not set up the gentleman yet. I love the parasol next to the leaps, though. It's so good. We are invincible! So here's the leap, see what we get. We're also drawing a card here. We'll get a weed spray, a rolling stone. See, now we can, like, we can rolling stone either the 2-4, or the, uh, or the, we can rolling stone one of these. Are we just gonna play for chopping this and don't let him keep drawing cards, or what? I mean, this will draw him one card and give him a 1-1 buff. 
Uh, this will also potentially let the egg live. I, since we're winning this trade anyway, and we really don't want to take four damage next turn, we're just going to keep leaping. So the hippie up guard making a free minion here, which I'll definitely take that. Free arc. Go heights. That's fine. That would have died for free. So now the, we have an extra dude. Deep sea garg, love to see it. Um, I'm still not really feeling. I mean, tricks are just completely negated here. He's not gonna be able to do light like, damage either. I guess it's just a, a defensive end. There's a play of going for rocket and chop. We're not gonna be able to use both this turn. Let's save those for when we actually need them. Defensive end is okay. I don't. There's not really much tricks that the opponent's gonna play here. But uh, it's just a huge, another huge threat on the board that will eventually get value from its passive and dominates this juggernaut. <laughs> Look at juggernaut against defensive end. He's like, I am protected. He's like, hold my beer. Yes. Can we get something ridiculous here? Like a, oh, we got three damage. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get direct. So we won four now. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've tried Parasol in this deck. I think I just didn't try it for long enough. I Offline, I I tried Parasol for a couple games, but I wasn't running Gentleman in that version. I was running, like, more early game control. I was running, like, four Weed Sprays or something. I And four Rockets. I really like this balance of just two Weed Sprays, four Rolling Stones. So you don't need a ton of Weed Spray after that. You have three Rockets, and then Chop is a superpower. And then you have the Leap Synergy with Parasol. And you see the... Leap Synergy, Parasol's Leap Synergy works better with Gentleman because you've already developed it and then you smack a Parasol on that the next turn. Oh, <laughs> Parasol just carrying game after game. Let's go. Uh, don't need two stations. This is a little ambitious to keep in your starting hand. So it's against Guardian though, so we'll keep two Rolling Stones and a Cryo Brain. We'll draw, you know, I mean, you draw into things. Hopefully we won't just draw Leaps every single turn, you know. Yes. Uh, so Rolling Stone here. If he plays Triceratops, we definitely hit the Triceratops here. Don't fall into that trap of getting too frustrated by a two-attack card. And, you know, this didn't do anything. If you don't follow, this is why Forget-Me-Nuts is not a control card, it's a tempo card. You have to play something on turn two there. Because if you don't, the Rolling, the, 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 it just traded one for one and he did two damage to our face. That's not worth a card in your deck. Not at all. Uh, this we have to take care of immediately, so fortunately, we have this crap. We cannot have him putting a whole bunch of little, you know, walnuts and garlics on the board next turn. Uh, he kind of yoloed that 3-2, making me think he maybe has a second 3-nut. We're going to save the leaps for the 6 drops for sure. Can you not have a second 3-nut here, please? Yeah, there's that, but we have an answer to that. <laughs> Just a drop out of the ocean of the massive six health this has. As long as they don't have grave removal, which luckily this Spadao is not running the grave removal that would have been efficient there. It's Grave Buster. You got this from Photosynthesizer? Okay. Who cares? Oh, dun 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 dun. Um, the question is, should I be... I think Rocket is going to be fine here, so we're going to Rocket Station. We could, you know, it means he'll ramp again next turn, but we're, he's kind of anti-ramping. <laughs> no rocket. It's okay. Bruh. I don't like that rain. It just makes this ping block meter. And he's not go- Why did he not play this in lane one? This is literally insane. Why would you not kill my 3-3 for free there? Bro. <laughs> the man really likes his Starch Lord. What can I say? What can I even say? Um, so the thing about Raw Zombie here, it does drain, but it doesn't, <sighs> Raw Zombie doesn't live a lot, because he just needs something with three, he'll have four sun, and he's just gonna, you need three attacks since there's these team ups, and end up maybe working out for him pretty well here. I mean, I could just like defensive end here. Why don't I defensive end to, to contest the Star and we'll do some leaps later. Maybe we'll get, like, a leap and we'll be able to 6 plus 2 or something like that. Get a rolling stone would help. There's a few things we can draw that would really help lane 3 out. Yeah, 
He actually shamrockets that for five, which is his entire turn. Uh, he's continuing to, well, not ramp, but he's continuing to conjure, so. Uh, this is fine. This actually won't die to berry blast. Ooh, maybe I should have saved that for the raw zombie. Oh, I definitely should have. Whoops. Oh, leap, yes! So now leap is the, the ultimate protection of this raw zombie. So the raw zombie should be able to. He's going down to five now. There's really no way for him to deal with this. He can try to berry blast, but leap obviously corrects that. So we should be able to get the seven and then the eight here, and hopefully we'll either get Mechasaur or uh, Garg throwing Garg. Now Garg throwing Garg just wins. Just straight up wins. Mechasaur basically wins too, though. And he's putting the bouquet. Well, it has. No, but this has five attacks. This guy's making just plays. I don't know what these plays are. Guard throwing guard! Yes! <laughs> yeah. This is better. I don't even want to leap this anymore. The spike weed sector, this is just this represents this represents a uh, uh, just 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 yes. Just yes. Hell yeah. So now we have Shiko Parasol? <laughs> no, we're gonna go with six to drain him plus rocket. I mean, should I played around Doom Shroom? Parasol would have played around Doom. Now he can actually Doom Shroom. Oh my gosh. I guess Doom Shroom is his only way back into this game. Okay, he doesn't have Doom Shroom. Phew. Phew. <laughs> he's, he's, he's getting ready for the Steep Sea Guard. He knows that coming. He knows. He knows. He knows. Yeah, still nothing of ours is dying. Even close to dying. <laughs> We're just kidding. We free value. The Deep Sea Gargan 2 does die before lane, you know, 3 happens, so we will get a, a third Garg next turn. And we have Rocket to answer the Soul Patch or whatever stupid card he plays here. I think we got this one in the bag, though. Let's see. Uh, extra value. Oh, that dies. Oh, it means we can just make a play here. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna Parasol. I don't think Raw Zombies is good. It's gotta be Parasol. There's defensive end, too. <laughs> Is there any 8-cost card that would be amazing here? Like, should we play around Kernel Corn? Kernel Corn is another thing that really gets me. If we play Parasol and he plays Kernel Corn, we kind of lose. So should I just Raw Zombie here? Screw it. I'm playing around Kernel Corn, since that's one of the few things, again. And we still have Rocket available now. Yeah. Again, if he had Doom Shroom, he played it last turn, so... Could have El Kernel. El Kernel. Do I rocket this? It's four damage coming in. It is a lot. And there might be something we need to do this. This guy's actually staying in this game. <laughs> oh. uh, if we get Rodeo Garg or Zombot, we obviously just win this turn. You know what, I'm going to go with my gut and rocket next turn. We're only going to have one card to play, so we can always just rocket next turn. Taking four damage is not the end of the world here, since we have a full block meter. That's very cool. She splash face, mix splash time. Mix splash -a Okay, now is it parasol? Actually, it's... it's oh. No, it's defensive end, so we can win in lane three. Uh, we'll have Rocket Rolling Stone and just win the game. So that's awesome. We don't even... Well, the splash is it. In case he removes it. Yeah, Rotobag in 5k. This man's just got rooting for the home team. <laughs> Starchler has gotten so much value, but he's still been struggling so hard. No! Bruh! Wait. Wow, look at the heals. So this splash... I think the splash wins, because now we just rocket this one, yeah, and we'll have six and well, no, it's only six and three. Damn, the the healing really got us here. Is it worth doing six damage? Is there a rolling stone somewhere that would be better? Eh, it'll get him down to. One health with a gas giant on board. This uh, finally dies. Look how much value the turquoise gold got this game. Ridiculous. Use all this stuff. So that dies. We get three. And this will still be alive. Oh no, it took three damage. 
So it's definitely easy play. It's just Parasol, Turquoise, and Rolling Stone. And, you know, we, we're hitting a bunch of times. We're also hitting in lane two because the five the five damage will go face. <laughs> Steel Mech. It doesn't save it because it still does five plus one, but. Uh, we also Rolling Stone that, so that's nice. Uh, never mind. I mean, we still should win because we proc the block and have two chances at Spit Out's face. He already used his super. So we always win just in lane f five anyway. Yeah, I get wrecked. Yes! Yes! I okay, guys. I mean, whoever suggested Paracel, thank you. Because that is exactly, exactly, exactly what this deck needed. I think the answer is yes already, too. So congrats to the yes people. We got five out of eight already. Answer is yes. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got leaps is what we got. Are two of these? I mean, against Chumzilla, it's not terrible. We probably should get one early game card there, right? A little too greedy. We'll, we'll, we'll hold on to this now. Yeah, this deck is getting it done here. Where's Tryhard? I want him to see my creation. I'll see it on YouTube. <laughs> Credit for the main heart and soul of this deck, which is Cryobrain into Parasol, into, sorry, into a Turquoise Skull, into Ra Zombie. A lot of cards in this deck. Definitely not on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> never use Parasol or Turquoise or Ra or Defensive End. I mean, those are four cards we never, ever, ever use. And I love how this deck just, woo, features them. Yes. I think the defensive ends have been fine. I think it really... You know, there's Mechasaur, like, in the original deck of the list, but... I don't know. Maybe Mechasaur's better. Once they've used all their removal up. Especially Mechasaur next to Parasol. Wow. <laughs> it's not some bandits, though. I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's go for Gentleman Leap here. Why not? See if we make a good trade. Uh, okay. Well, hopefully we get something with more than two health here. I don't even know. A stupid cube? I, don't, I think basically everything kills a 2-2 here. That's not bad. There's nothing to eat. So a 4-5, I mean, that's, that's some hard stats right there. Dose. So, should I go for Turquoise, which will get more value down the stretch? I could go for Rolling Stone Rocket or Rolling Stone Leap here as well. Leap, it means a 5-coster. Probably the sooner you develop Turquoise, the better, right? Eh? It's also likely he has this, like, Chump Solo Super or maybe, like, even a lawnmower here, so the 4-3 sometimes doesn't lift to see the leap. So this is cool. Rolling Stone Rocket's gonna be really good against this Pepper MD next turn. It's funny how Pepper MD is such a good 2-drop that you're happy to have like 3 rockets in your hand against this crap. Uh, so it's definitely passed. And we have, you know, it's probably just Rolling Stone Rocket, but who knows? Maybe it'll be Rolling Stone Weed Spray. I think it is Rolling Stone Weed Spray. We can also Weed Spray Rolling Stone. I mean, we have three rockets in hand, though. Maybe it's Rolling Stone Leap. Because we just want a rocket this next turn. The Weed Spray is more useful. We're not going to use all three of these rockets. Yeah, let's just do it like this. Hip, 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 hip. Hippity hop. I should have used this card. Right? Uh, this will work with the Gentleman. I should have healed. We don't got extra brain for that. So do I want to ramp or do I want to deny him? Probably deny him. Oh no, but we need to rocket this turn. Okay. So we ramp. <laughs> we have so many rockets. And he heals. Fleet spray denied. 
Uh, so we use the heal here. Uh, does he want his guy on heights or on ground? Uh, it doesn't really matter, right? Really nice that we have some extra health here. And I think we'll just keep this gentleman rolling. It'll just be giving us... Now it's a 2-7. It'll just be giving us two extra brains every single turn. It's really good. Here is an egg. I'd love to see it. I think we have four and three now, so the rocket is active. Yes, we also have leap in case he doesn't heal. Maybe if he heals, we'll rock in, and if not, we'll we'll leap. Leaping this to a six is really good. It's actually looking like leap now. Heal and contest. So what's better? I mean, this dying. I think Leap is better. We'll always have the Rocket for next turn. Oh, we can do both! I forgot we have Gentleman Zombie. I'm so stupid, but we have Gentleman Zombie, so we literally just do both. It's so good. It's so freaking good. We just get two extra brains now every single turn. We have an answer to everything in our hand. If you remove something, we can at least teleport something in now. Look at this gondola. So cool. I hope we can, like, Rocket what he puts in front of the gondola next turn and get value and also have five five lanes on the board is this like the new leap deck I, I, this is so good <laughs> so great i'm so excited about this how amazing is this deck guys we've never done anything even close i mean i guess some bandits was close to it right he, we stole his thing so if he has eight drops they can go they can go suck it. Can we please get some value from this 5-3? I would love. Again, unless this guy has exactly bonk choice stats. And 3 attack. We're able to really answer anything with these with these control cards here. The control cards, again, are to stall the early game uh, and survive. Come and focus. Thank you. But uh, it, it's also just to activate your cards in the late game. So the rocket and weed spray essentially are finishers. Since we're not running Going Viral. Going Viral would just break too hard in this deck, man. You have to have so much tempo established for Going Viral to even be good. Yeah, the egg turned into Teleportation Zombie, for real. It's incredible. Didn't even acknowledge that. <laughs> this is what he's going after. That was it, huh? Um, okay. Well, enjoy getting weed sprayed. <laughs> <laughs> so Gondola will win. Gondola should win the game. It's hitting again here. Uh, get mopped. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, got him. All right, guys, we're six and two. An absolutely fantastic, incredible stream. Absolutely amazing. That was Leap Bandits. Whoever I don't remember who told me to put Parasol, but my man, you are a genius. It's funny because I actually tried again with Parasol. I also tried with Gentleman before the stream. I never tried with both. And I had this idea of, I was like, nah, we're just going to die too much in the early game. You need more control. I think this is the recipe that just works. It's so great. The Gentlemen's were really legit. Like that game, the Gentlemen just got so much ramp. So much value, man. All right. That is going to be all. So that was Leap Bandits. We found... A really cool... <laughs> Again, we didn't see one cop can in the whole day. Thank goodness. We saw Rose and Brainanas and all that crap. That I probably should have played around better. And we also died to, like, Green Shadow, Onion Ring, Starfruit. And I didn't have... You know, I'm running three, four rockets, three rockets in this deck. We should be able to handle that. Usually. Alright, guys. That's gonna be all. I will see you in the next video. Of course, that's going on YouTube. Peace. This is Fry.